a quick review of the pitch letter assignment just to give you an idea of what I was looking at grading wise. I, I looked at five different factors that were equally weighted throughout the assignment. Um, first thing I was looking for is your overall writing style and format. Um, was, the, was the writing clear? Were you to the point? Did you have right, the right format of the letter? Um, there is an example in the textbook of the format of the letter and how the different paragraphs break down. And what I was looking for in addition to that was that you had a good lead paragraph, um, you had another paragraph, usually the second paragraph, that was able to um, define or frame what the story you were trying to sell was and that you were making the connection between the connector's audience and your story. So th that was the big point there. Um, so for the lead, um, did you say something provocative? Did you get the, the connector's attention? Um, did you begin to frame the story and show them that you understood um, what their audience was about, what their work was? Then again, the next step was to go further with that, to show the connection um, between your story and their audience. Tell them what's in it for them. That, that was the main piece. Um, the next step was to actually give some supporting facts. Right, This is an area where um, you're showing that you have material that you're willing to share and you're going to make the connector's job easier in that you're supplying some readily available facts for them and, and often it's best if you can also allude to other facts that you have um, that they can either find on their own or come to you and get. And then I was looking for a strong closing. Um, Again, offering additional information, offering your availability, and, and setting up an action step. So um, requesting an appointment or um, letting them know that there will be a specific time that you're going to be calling. Um, a couple of general points is uh, I really don't want to see the pitch letter or any PR writing salesy. Remember, you're selling a story, not a product. As soon as it seems like you're selling a product, the, the journalist, the connector, the editor, whoever it is, is going to drop this. You're going to be blacklisted. They're not going to open your emails. They're not going to open your letters. Um, they're really not going to be paying any attention to you at all. So remember the concept we talked about very early. Is the story newsworthy? Why does their audience care? Um, that's something that's really important. Do your homework. Make sure that you know something about the connector and convey that within your pitch letter. Um, make them know that you've read their work, that you get what they're doing. That makes a big difference. Um, and please, the, the holy grail here is is it's news. It's not advertising. Some of you crossed that line and um, made it sound like there was some sort of quid pro quo, like they'd get something from um, writing a story about you. Or some of you just blatantly called it advertising, which is certainly not. Advertising and PR are, are never the same thing. Um, if you're paying for PR, um, it's not PR. It is an advertorial or, or just straight out advertising or um, some unethical, underhanded thing that's going on between a journalist and, and a company, which is something that we definitely don't want to be doing. Um, so I've put the uh, grades and some comments in the Dropbox, so check those out. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Also, um, as I have with the last couple of assignments, you are free to resubmit this assignment, um, obviously rewriting it based upon the comments that I've given you. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping that you do take the opportunity to, to do a rewrite because that is reality. That's typically how pitch letters and press releases and all PR documents um, are put together. Thanks.